Awesome. So, my name is Dane Zealot. Uh, thanks uh, for everybody that's uh, uh, coming out supporting the project, the music, the artists, DJC, and all the artists that they're working with. This is awesome, right? I'm in jail doing something that, uh, that, that should not be possible, but it is. So, this is, this is a trip for me. So, thank you. All my crimes beyond forgiveness Have I lost my place with you? All the silence, all I get project that came before us a few months ago, Die Jim Crow. I realize there's so much human intolerance in our country, you know, in the world in general, but one of the biggest problems we have in America is this intolerance for each other's differences. So what this project means to me is coming together with the fellas. We got a, a gentleman on our, our uh, group of musicians. He's an African-American brother. He's almost 60 years old. He's lived a very hard life. His name's Kevin Woodley. Oh, here we go. Can't 
I'm a man too, I laugh and cry just like you When you get behind me, I tightly grip my steering wheel With thoughts that tonight I get killed My wife left the widow Kids waiting for daddy, staring out the window But the fact is, I ain't never coming home No fault of my own, picture in the paper never shown Only my criminal record left the dirt be thrown You say your traffic stop, your lot and said I had a Glock Now I'm lifeless with 17 shots now can't you see that I believe just like you Who give it the power to say I ain't right and my life's through Now can't you see that I believe like you Who give it the power to say I ain't right and my life's through Hey everybody, it's your boy Biz I want to say how grateful and blessed I am to be a part of this uh, project And uh, it's my boy Fury Thank you so much man, I can't wait to get out of here To make more music uh, I know I said I was going to be out and get you a dreidel for Hanukkah, but I, I got you this little horse. Look at <laughs> All right, man. Congratulations again. Everybody stay safe. God bless. You know, uh, someday it's going to stop. Someday. And, and, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, 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 to embracing people, you know, uh, of different races. Embracing. When I say embracing, I don't mean just reaching out my hand and, 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 and shaking it. I'm talking about holding you. Mm. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, smiling and laughing and having a good time and not thinking uh, uh, that this person is less than me. Right. You know, I'm looking forward to that. I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to see that, but I do think that we have the ability to, and, and, and the, the heart to actually do it. Right. We just don't know how yet. Right. But it's going to come to that. We're going to see. Y'all, maybe y'all will see it, but I may not be here long enough to see it. project is about in my heart as a person with a you know five murder convictions once upon a time I was uh, held up by the newspapers as a cold-blooded animal that has no regard for human life <laughs> that's uh if people could read my heart they would realize how untrue that that is today a juror saved my life in 1987 because she said that she had a gut feeling it might be worth saving 
And I'd like if that lady came and see me today, if she says, you know what, I made the right choice. We can either live in the past and define ourselves by it, or we can move forward today and every day here on and create a better world for all of us. And the fact that we're all coming together as we are, as musicians, as artists, I'd like that to be an example for the world out there, the free world, to come together instead of keep pushing each other apart. Thank you for the opportunity to let us share our culture, our, our pain with you guys. You know, what we go through. live my life with integrity, I needed to live within my values, and one of the values that I'd come up with was equality. I've been breathing in all this stuff, but I've had no place to exhale it in. You know, where do you go? Where do you go with your, with your pain? You know, where do you go with your brokenness? You know, so the next broken man can't understand that. guys are here and uh, you know it's a blessing that our message is going to be heard and that's all that you know matters really you know being able to you know be a flower and continue on in life you know this is like a continuation for our lives you know and uh, you know it's going to be around for a while. I just wanted to ask you uh, what your experience has been like so far. It's the last day. There's a few days to uh, recalibrate up. <laughs> well, my experience, how do I express this in words? Yes. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Start with A and find a word for every letter of the alphabet. I think it's been the most gratifying experience of my life, to be honest. For years I've sat back, almost trapped inside of myself. You know, the person that I was in 87, the actions and stuff that manifested themselves. I've known inside for many, many years that I'm much more than the worst 10 minutes of my life. The people that know me intimately know that. But there's a whole world out there that just reads the headline and that's what they see us as. And I'm surrounded by 900 me's in this facility and another 20,000 plus in Colorado, not mentioning the two and a half million nationwide. Every one of us has a story. Hmm. Every one of us is crying out inside to have the world, our loved ones, whatever we believe is a higher power, know that we're not the worst 10 minutes of our life. This has given me an opportunity to show a small part of that inside that's been hidden away for many, many years. And I think my greatest, my greatest joy of this experience, honestly, is sitting back watching the five, six gentlemen that have been with me the entire experience, watching them grow, watching them step up come out of their fears, come out of the darkness, step into a very uncomfortable place and grow. And with their music express themselves. What I saw Kevin Woodley do, Dane Newton, Jose Talamantes, Phil Archuleta, and Gilbert Pacheco, Frankie Domenico. And even the staff that have been here with us, you know, in the interim, you know, coming in and going out, seeing everybody grow together. It's been very, very gratifying. 